Jason McFarlane here with you on 102.5 The Game. This is our Titan Player Show. Damian Williams and Jake Locker, our special guests tonight. And we've got the Swiftwick Sox Little League Team of the Week. The Mount Juliet squad is out here tonight, and we'll learn more about them a little bit later. And they're going to actually ask some questions of these guys. We're looking forward to that. Darren, do you want to throw something well, in there? A couple real things real quick before we bring Damian and Jake back into the mix. Uh, AP put out really their uh, all SEC honors first team. Vanderbilt had Jordan Matthews. My man. Yes. On there. That's right. Yeah. First, we Cobb talked to him about that. We, yeah, we did an yes. interview with him uh, about a week, week and a half ago, and we talked to him about his experience with you. And yeah. uh, he said he learned a lot. He said he learned, he learned a, a lot, lot from, from you. you. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. To know. Hey, there he is. He's, he's he gets the he gets the honor. First, yeah. first first teamer since DJ Moore. That's correct. Back in two thousand and eight. So that's so he earns the, the doors. And Cordero Patterson, J Matt for Tennessee. Those are the two first teamers yeah. in offense. Uh, for one for Vanderbilt, one for Tennessee, and uh, I don't believe any, you know, none on the defensive side of the ball. Also, Joker Phillips, who was let go by Kentucky, has joined Will Muschamp's staff as the, uh, I guess, wide receivers coach and I'm sure recruiting coordinator. So he will join the Florida staff. Hmm. So that's a good hire for them. All right. And oh, Col God. Colin Klein, Mante Teo, and Johnny Manziel named the Heisman finalists. So later in the show, we'll get these guys <laughs> to vote on the Heisman. But let's bring in our special guest. Damien, why don't you introduce your, your, your teammate? <laughs> I mean, so, so, we well, well, think, yes. think the name says it all. But uh, Jake, welcome. <laughs> Jake Locker, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the show, bud. Happy to be here with you guys. Well, Jake, thanks a lot for coming out. It was uh, We were just talking to Damien about yesterday's game, and you know, one, one thing that anybody had to admire is how you guys sort of persevered. It was, it was not going well. You had uh, some serious is issues on the offensive line injury-wise, which did not make it easier. But uh, you had to admire the way you guys kept fighting, kept staying in there. Actually had yourselves a pretty decent opportunity to get back in the game. Yeah, we did. I thought, uh, like you said, it, it, it kind of shows the resolve of our football team just to hang in there. And uh, things weren't going our way, but we came out in the second half and, and found ways to make plays. And I think that uh, it's a testament to that group of guys and, and a group that you know I'm proud to be a part of. It's it's no secret that uh, you know you're dealing with the injury that you're dealing with. And yesterday, you got sacked a bunch as a result of you know the, the line trying to adjust and doing the best they can. But so, how do you feel on a day like today after you get hit sometimes <laughs> like that? Uh, a little more sore than I've been in the past <laughs> today, but uh, you know, it, like you said, those guys are out there playing hard and. And doing everything they can. Uh, we had some, you know, we, at one point I think Fernando was playing right tackle for us. So uh, there was guys shuffled everywhere. So, you know, those guys came in and did a great job. At the end of the day, they competed, you know. And, and I think that's what everybody on that side of the ball did. It wasn't the outcome we wanted, but there was a lot of positives to take away from it. And you're hoping, I'm sure, that to go through tough times like this, that it makes you better down the road. I'm sure you'll remember just as you – learn the ropes here in this league games like this i mean they, they teach you a lot don't they yeah there's a lot that you can take from it and i think there's uh two ways to go when you have tough games kind of a season like we've had thus far um you can either uh quit on it and and, and give up or you can uh take the mistakes take some things that uh, have kind of been your hardships and learn from them and hopefully make you better in the future and i think that's what uh, our group as a whole has done a really good job of how, how much different did it seem and damien chime in on this as well when they when they make the change you, everybody hears, okay, new offensive coordinator. But it, it means it's hard for us to, to really comprehend what that means for each individual player. Did, did it seem a lot different in preparing? How, how much different did that make your job in preparation? Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was, you know, it was, it was, there was a different approach. Um, and there's different styles, you know. Both uh, uh, Coach Palmer and, and Coach Loggins, they, they, they come from different backgrounds as far as uh, um, offensive structure. You know, Coach Palmer was the run and shoot, and um, a lot of different options, a lot of things going on, and, and Coach Loggins comes from a background where it wasn't um, wasn't as many working parts in the passing game, and so there's a definite difference between the two of them. And um, you know, I, I've really had a lot of respect for Dow since I got here, and um, really excited about working with him and, and continuing to work with him. Damien, uh, did, I think we asked you this last week, but was it was it simpler th than it was before? Is there less to think about the way it's going right now? Um, like you said, it's different styles. I wouldn't say there's less to think about. We obviously have a, a lot to think about either way. Um, you know, there's a lot of working parts, like you said, in our offense and um, a lot of different movements. But I think that I think it's, it's a lot friendlier to us. Um, I, I think it uses um, our weapons the way that, that, you know, that we're 
wired the way that we're made to be used. Um, I think that you know we get guys more comfortable in, in situations, uh, in certain routes, um, and getting guys more comfortable in the offense. Period. You know, uh, moving guys around, uh, guys like Cookie, getting in matchups against guys that you know he knows for sure he can beat every time. And, and I think that when guys get comfortable and get in those favorable situations, then I think you know big plays and, and the playmaking ability definitely it has to show. Both of you talk about the addition of Tom Moore, certainly a guy who's been around the league for a long time and uh, understands NFL offense. Yeah, um, you know, I, I think that he's, he's done a great job with us. You know, even in his first day there, um, I, I don't know about from the quarterback standpoint, but for the receivers, you know, every time we ran a route, if something, if we came back to the side and it was something a little off, even if we completed the, the pass, if there was anything that he saw that could help us, you know, in, in that, whether it's route technique or route depth or, you know, uh, beating the press off, or beating uh, the man off the press, I think that, you know, he chimed in and I think it was valuable information for us. Jay? Yeah, definitely. I think that, uh, you know, the guy's been in the league almost 40 years now. He's got a wealth of knowledge and uh, he understands the game from a bunch of different angles. And I think that's what's great about it. He understands it from the perspective of the receiver and from the perspective of the quarterback. So he has a, a good way to be able to relate to each other, for us to relate to the wide receivers and to get his point across it as to how we can help them and how they can help us. Um, so you can be as, as efficient as possible.